Response to therapy in polycythemia vera has changed over the last few years, recognizing that we do not need to control only red blood cell count. We should also control white cells, platelets, spleen, and symptoms. The curious case here is about how to assess those responses beyond just looking at the blood cell count. How do you actually assess, in particular, response in uh, symptoms? One way, obviously, is to ask a patient, how do you feel? And then you say, you feel better, you don't feel better, and how much better? But development of the questionnaire has happened over the last several years that many of my colleagues in the community practice use to document properly. And this is a questionnaire, about 10 questions, that can be given to a patient to, full, to fill out before the doctor comes in the office to properly assess all the aspects of what can happen and what polycythemia vera patients can experience. And with that tool, the myeloproliferative neoplasm specific questionnaire, one can have a better grasp of improvements in the quality of life. This is not only for polycythemia vera, but also for other myeloproliferative neoplasms, myelofibrosis in particular. So assessment relies therefore on assessment of improvement in symptoms, spleen by palpation, if it's enlarged, and the blood cell count, looking at the red blood cells, hematocrit in particular, white cells and platelets.